what's going on whoever's in here let me know if the music is too loud just trying to make sure everything is all set up I think I'm good What's up, man? How you doing, Hannibal? Good, pretty good. issues with this uh, Wacom driver lately. I don't know what's up. It takes like three strokes to get the thing to register. I can't deal with that. I gotta fix that. Real quick. Let's see what's up with this.
using a ZBrush profile for Walkman. Oh, um, I just set up one for the pin for the pressure sensitivity on it. But something's going on. I think I gotta restart ZBrush. For some reason, when I subdivide, it's not uh, it's not showing any difference in the mesh. I don't know what's happening here. something was masked yeah there it is oh no audio hmm. you can't hear me at all Yeah, check yours because I'm reading that that I'm I have audio. Check your speakers. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's up, Enigma? later yeah yeah I mean it wasn't I can re-answer answer it for you now it's um, I just set up a profile in my Wacom driver for the stylus uh, so if we open it up here just like you know in Photoshop and everything else I just made one for the stylus or for ZBrush rather So I just have it set to Alt uh, for the front button and Shift and then brush size for the back. But it's been acting real weird lately. I think the driver I might need to might need to downgrade it. I don't know what's up. It's acting kind of odd. I got to get this thing done for the ZBrush Summit, and I promised the guys. That are printing it that I would get it to them today um, so it's kind of a pain here just trying to figure out these really all I got to do is the boots for now Yeah, I'm gonna be here all day, man. I gotta get this done. I don't think I'm going anywhere. I mean, I'm gonna try to answer you guys' questions, but I'm, I'm kind of on a mission right now. I just figured I'm doing it anyway. Let me go ahead and stream it in case anybody wants to watch. this boot up to the other one. 
some detail. So Tom, thanks man. Uh, no, Enigma, I'm not. I'm not going to be at the summit this year. They just they want a few things of mine to, a couple things of mine to take. So they're printing the, uh, the, Venom Ball, and um, the uh, the Bishop. But my schedule is kind of crazy. I can't really get to the summit. It's it's kind of hard to get out to the West Coast for me. You know what I mean? Like a whole big production. That's why I don't usually go to the, the cons or anything. Oh, that's much easier. Yeah, I had too much geo on this thing. Tony, what are you doing home, man? Get out there, time to time for the uh, for the New York Comic Con. Getting ready to start school. How's that that mural coming along, dude? Yeah, it's that time. It's that time, man. You got to do a lot this spring or summer break, rather, so. And a nice little break. This is, man. Hey, Tony, are you having problems with your, uh, your Wacom driver lately? I'm only getting, it's only registering like every third time that I put down a stroke and it's making stuff really hard here. Like this week it's just been acting crazy, man. What's up, Lance? Yeah, let me know if anybody else is having a problem with their Wacom driver. Thing is acting. Bananas. Like even the move, it takes a minute to, uh, like a couple of seconds to register. So fly with it. It's all good. All right. Oh, you're really? Okay, you're not using the latest one? Yeah, my thing is acting crazy, man. I'm having problems.
Yeah, a little lagging. We'll do, man. Hey, let me know if this music is too loud, or if you can even hear it, I don't know. It's like the never-ending music saga, trying to figure out how to get it to play right in the background.
Uh, I haven't applied it yet. It's still just a. Um, it's still still just uh, surface noise. But I plan to subdivide it up super high to to keep it. Right now, the pants are. Um, I'll tell you. So right now the pants are six million. I imagine I'm gonna have to subdivide it up really high in order to keep this. Hey, what's up, Richie? Thank you. Hey, thanks, man. The alpha for the noise is um I where did I get this? Um I'll show it to you. Noise, 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 surface. So it kind of looks like, I don't know if you guys can, no, it's buried underneath of this thing. Let's see if I can move this here. Mm, I can move my picture, hold on a sec. It's this, it's this down in the corner here. I don't even know where I got it. I'm always looking for decent noise, uh, surface noise to add to the suits. Move this back. I don't know why I can't move that. Cancel. Yeah, it's high, man. It's high. But like I said, I'm, it's going for print. So I need to, uh, like at this point, I don't care about the uh, the size of this thing. Like right now, the whole thing is um, 41 million. But I haven't, I haven't decimated anything other than the belt. So... Um, like if we look at the belt, that's all one piece. And I use Decimation Master, so it's only 600 polys, 600,000 rather. It was really high before in order to kind of keep some of this detail in the bag, the bags. Yeah, thanks man. Yeah, no, they're gonna, they're gonna give it to me when they're done, which is pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to that tone. This base, I don't need to see that. Uh, yeah, I did. Um, I have a character named uh, um, Vulcan, which is like the guy that I have a picture of. He's got like glowing red hands you can see through to like the bone and uh, like orange coming out of his eyes and stuff like that. I sculpted him for a class actually with Hannibal. Um, so, and I started a, a base model for that. I'm going to do like a nice full on treatment of it at some point. But for now, that's all I got. Let's turn off this gun. Let's turn off the rebar. That's easier to see. All right, and I don't really need. All I needed the boots in his pants, so let's turn off everything else. UV and brush or on this. Uh, for him, I was in a hurry, so I did the UVs in here for for him. Um, normally, I like to go into Maya so I can get them a little more clean, but they worked out pretty well. Like on his shirt. They worked out nicely because I had some panels that uh, I cut for the piping. And I don't know if you can see it, but the direction of the this twill pattern changes with the uh, with the, the panels. And it's kind of a nice little breakup. Oops, frame. Alright, so I don't need. Yeah, I'm going right. to turn off everything but his legs. And his boots. There you go. That's good. In fact, I don't even need his legs. Let's turn those off, too. And...
Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. It's nice, dude. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe to my uh, subscribe to my Twitch because I'm gonna be doing more of these. I just I never really promote them in advance. It's one of those things where I kind of just throw it up, you know, as I'm about to go on. I need to start thinking about that. But I think if you, uh, huh, thank you. Uh, if you um, subscribe, it will give you a notification, which is nice. Joanne, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. It's all good. It is all good. Hey, I've had a stalker, and you are not a stalker. I'll tell you that much. Tony knows. Tony Gore knows what I'm talking about. We shall not even get into that. do a stroke twice for it to register this is not it's not good oh you know what wait a minute why do I have it's like super high this does not need to be anywhere near this high
I'm gonna start to give it a little bit of volume in the in this part of the boot just to make it feel a little more heroic, not just like he's wearing a moon boot or something. Like a ski boot. They're already kind of thick, so it's kind of doing that whether I want it to or not. I don't even need this much geo. Delete that. 5,000, 500,000, let's see, delete higher. Should make it easier to sculpt. It's every other stroke this thing is picking up. I can't work this way. I gotta restart ZBrush. That's all about. Just save this.
Oh my god, so much better. that was all about but um I didn't have any pressure sensitivity and the strokes only like picked up on every second or third one it's a mess Absolutely, you can rig them. You want to rig it in ZBrush or in something else like Maya or Max? So you can make like a, uh, a Z Sphere rig. It's not pretty, but I mean, it gets the job done. Or you can take it into a proper 3D app and do a nice rig for it. working I can turn down the <clears throat> intensity on the smooth because I'm smashing out like all my details Yeah, I'll tell you when I finish a piece. <laughs> it takes that long. I have all these things that I've started and haven't finished. I think uh, 
what I finished. Well, I finished this guy, the Venom Ball, but um, the Carnage is almost done. It takes forever. You know why? Because I, I lose interest and start something new. I think if I treated it like my 2D work where I had clear-cut deadlines for a client, then I definitely would get more done. The other thing too is I'm real OCD when it comes to this stuff. So it's never, you know, I'm never really happy with it. I'm constantly trying to fix things. So more often than not, it just gets abandoned. All right, been going around and around on this thing. Let's see. I don't like that contour. I just wanted to read well from all the angles, not have any like real obnoxious type of, uh, you know, contours. You see that? I don't know if you see that, but I'm like using the move tool and it just takes it takes time to register. Do I have lazy zoomy on? Let's see. I don't think I do. Make sure this is cut off. Yeah, that's not on. Yeah. Yeah. Joanne knows. I mean, I'm sure it's like that for a lot of people. It's very easy to, you know, see something out of the corner of your eye and decide you want to go work on that for a while. Nah, I mean, if you're actually focused on them, not really. But. That's the problem with me. I, I lose focus really quickly, or I'll I'll get like a paying illustration job, and then I'll stop working on something, and before I know it, I'm starting something else. This piece here has been a work in progress forever. And I think the only reason that I'm working on it now and actually trying to finish it is because they're gonna print it. Yeah. I mean, the good thing about it is you can always pick it up later, you know, and you have something that's, you're not starting from a blank canvas, so that's pretty decent. All right, what do I have? Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I don't have any penetration going on here. Exactly. Yeah, same with me. That's the same thing I do. I just did this thing for Nike that, man, it was so much work, but I can't believe I got it all done. I got like six months worth of work done in a month just because I didn't have a choice. Um, but yeah, if I applied that to my own sculpts and stuff, and even my own paintings, God, I would have such a crazy body of work that's mine you know I got a lot of client work exactly yeah No, this was a personal piece, and uh, the guys over at Form Labs are going to print it for the um, for the ZBrush Summit. 
So now it's still a personal piece, but um, it's going to be printed. So that's why the rush all of a sudden. And they really want to have it in hand this weekend so they can prep it for printing. Which means I just, I'm going to have to just get these boots to a point where I'm happy with them and then just kind of call it a day. Yeah, see, I don't like the contour. Turn this down so it doesn't get messy. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's good because maybe I'll be able to start getting some commission work uh, from having a you know a physical piece instead of just a bunch of like digital sculpts. Dynamesh has become more of a uh, part of my workflow when when I use the the live bullions, I'll make a union mesh, and um, sometimes I have better luck doing a Dynamesh on it after they're all kind of union mesh together before I do a Z remesh, if that makes sense. So. My Dynamesh sometimes. I just did it for the belt because I have all of the pockets and everything as a part of it. And I wanted to get some of those deep kind of cuts in between the, um, there's the belt. Turn it all on again. So between these pockets, I wanted to get out some of those areas that might uh, be a problem when it comes to printing. So this is all Dynamesh together, and then I um, and then I did a uh, uh, ba, 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 ba. then I did a um, what's it called decimation on it in order to bring down because this I think it was in order to keep all the detail that was at um, like ten million polys. So after doing a, a um, decimation master, I was able to bring it down to 600,000. And I probably could go lower than that, but I don't think it really matters. You know, everybody I've talked to, like Joe Mena and you know, Daniel Bell and all those guys, they, they usually keep it really high. They don't care. Oh, now see, I can see on his the stripe I have on his shirt, I'm getting a penetration. Let me fix that. Frame this. Turn off. All right, I just want that on. Stitching. Frame it. Piping. Where are the stripes? That's what I need. Stripe, okay. I thought I saw through it a second ago. Hmm, I guess not. It's weird. Thanks, Joanne. Yeah, 10 million. Right now I'm at 30, 30 million for this guy. I don't normally ever really go up that high, but you know, what am I saving polys for now? You know, uh, when this is to a point where, like, even right now, I can start going in and dynameshing some of this stuff. Not dynameshing, I'm sorry. Um, 
Man, I cannot remember the name of that. Um, uh, decimation, decimating parts of it. Thanks, plans. Yeah, decimate. That shows you how much I use the decimation master. I can't even remember the name of it. All right. Now, you guys can help me out with this. I'm trying to decide whether I want to do the version for this one. This is not going to be very big. It's not a 1 6 scale, it's only 1 12th. So we're looking at maybe, I don't know, 7 inches tall, including the base. But I'm trying to figure out whether I should use the hair on this guy um, or not. So if I turn it off, I have like bald bishop, which I'm not mad at either. But I'm leaning towards the hair. If you guys want to let me know what you think, please do. Let me save this before I lose anything here. I actually want to do another version of this with the um, with the bald head where he's got the big arm, like the big mechanical arm. I think he, one of the, I can't remember which storyline it was, he loses his arm. Thanks, Bones. Yeah, um, I'm going to do it both ways, but I think for this guy I'm going to have old school like 80s bishop with the mullet. Thank you. All right. Uh, what am I missing here? All right. I need some. All right. So in this boot over here, I have some definition in here. I want to do that too. Like wrinkles where the where the laces are. I think I have it on the other side as well. Mark O'Reilly for the win. It's done. Hair is a done deal now. Thanks, man. So I just needed somebody to be definitive. Come in here and and call it. Come on, get there. There you go. All right. So this now gets a little confusing. Luke Cage, yeah, no, you're right. Which makes me think I need to do a Luke Cage as well. Of course, the version I'm doing is the 70s joint with the half row and the chain belt. That's the only Luke Cage I recognize. You like the old school look too? Back in the old Power Man and Iron Fist days. No! Good thing is you can just Google it. That's the 
a little wobbly. Because of the comic books? The movies are pretty faithful, actually. I mean, to me. They do take liberties, but could be worse. It could be uh, DC. <laughs> Just alienated half of the base there. Sorry about that. The DC movies are not good. Come on, you guys know that. This is not... Oh no, it's doing the thing again. Why is it doing that? You know what's crazy is the animated DC movies are so good, like consistently good, and yet they can't figure out the the live action joints. And like really, all you have to do is just copy what Marvel's doing. It's not even like you have to reinvent the wheel, you know, and apply it to your characters. Get somebody that can write a good script, but everybody's got to be dark and you know, there's like 50 million Superman movies and you have all these characters you can draw from and you're just leaving them there to die on the vine. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't understand how they're going to take... <laughs> don't get me started on that. I like Flashpoint Paradox too, but the problem is they're making that the next Flash movie, and you don't know anything about this new Flash? Like, they're jumping the gun on all this stuff, man. Like, how about you have a movie where you kind of build up the character before you get into the, you know, one of the best comics that Flash has been in, in my opinion. It's like putting together the Justice League before you even have a decent Superman movie, you know. Or, well, not Superman, but, you know, the other characters. rockets in the way. All I want is the shoe. And I don't need 
the soles. Turn those off. Let's turn off the heel. Where's the... doing the thing again where it uh, it doesn't want to recognize the strokes here thousand polys I should not be seeing faceting deformation let's polish by feature why am I seeing this faceting in here Top of this real quick. This is it's like no reason why I should be able to see the polys here. At 500,000 polys, there's no reason for that. Let's clone that real quick. I'm just going to duplicate it and retopologize it, project back the details. Polygons and symmetrical. Wait, what? Multiple subdivision. Let me delete the lower, I guess. Delete lower. See if I can see remesh it. Mesh does not contain polygons in the major symmetrical side. This is weird. I don't even have symmetry turned on and it shouldn't matter anyway. Has anybody ever seen this error before? You've had that mark? What is this? I've never seen this error before. Maybe if I Dynamesh it then try to Z remesh, it'll work. Maybe. Let's see, Dynamesh. All right, that was fast. Now let's see. Z remesh double. Yeah, what is this? All right, I gotta Google this. All right, what did that say? Does not contain polygons on major symmetrical side. Am 
might have to call it Paul on this one. Turning on sculptures, feature on and off. Um, okay, I haven't turned it on yet, but. Oh, here, okay, here's a video. Let me just look at this real quick. Oh, it's too long. This only happens when you are in a rush to do something. Mark, I just mirrored it, and then it did a a, uh, a retopo, and it worked. Let me try mirroring it back. Let's see what happened. Set it to double, adapt. Huh? Okay, so apparently it has something to do with the symmetry here, which I don't have. I don't think I have it turned on. Let's see. Maybe I did. Let's see. Okay. I had symmetry turned on, so that's what the problem was. That's loud. Alright. So, because symmetry was turned on, that was the problem. Alright, let me smooth this out. So this is 41,000 polys and it's smoother than the 500,000 poly version, which was very weird. So let's try it again. See if that has anything to do with my sculpting. Look at that, you see that? Every, it doesn't pick up on each stroke. Look at this. It's every third stroke. I can't. That's that's a Wacom driver thing. That is has nothing to do with ZBrush. I think I might have to downgrade my Wacom driver. Alright, let's copy this and paste it real quick. This one and paste. Issues with the Wacom tablet, Joanne? With the registration? When the back face masking is turned on. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, yeah, that does happen to me a lot too, but um, I have it turned off. So I don't know why it would do that. Yeah, let me try it. I, I do that when it gives me problems in Photoshop. Let me give it a shot. That's a good call. Just save this real quick. No, 
they're not flipped. Let's check it. Mm -mm. I have double turned off. Uh, yeah, Mark, I don't know, man. I was having issues. I, I actually, this whole month, I did a lot of work with uh, 30-6, and I didn't have any issues at all. And then just the last couple days, Painter. Uh, oh, my God, I forgot to do something for my wife. Damn it. She did ask me to do this thing. Sorry. Um... Sorry. I'm going to catch hell for this. All right. All right, let me try to save this. All right, I did save it. Let me try to restart services I might have to I might have, I messed up. I was supposed to be getting an aerator for the yard, um, you know, the machine that kind of plucks out the holes in it so that it will take the seed and, and nutrients better, and I forgot, I totally spaced out. I'm working on that Nike job this week. All right, let's see. Now watch, now that I probably have to go, I bet you this thing will work. check that out um, up, 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 uh. thanks Raul 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 thank you that was the trick it did it oh yeah this is much better that's much better Yeah, I've been doing it a lot lately. I mean, I'm I'm a a giant Wacom fan, but the drivers lately have not been very bueno. You know what I'm saying? For me. And if I don't have a problem in Corel lately, it's been like a problem in Photoshop or now ZBrush, so I'll be really happy when the next version comes out, to be honest with you.
So uh, I want to get these emblems contoured on the tongue. So let me do that real quick. Clear these out. I want to duplicate these. So let's just copy this. Let's clone it and then grab this tongue here. Copy and paste. decent geo to make this work so let's see right now it's dynamic if I turn it off it kind of looks like this that's 400,000 let's see if it works so I'm gonna use mm, what's it called it starts with an M Matchmaker. I'm going to use Matchmaker and it's very camera dependent in order to get it to work right. Like the stars have to be seriously aligned for this thing to work out exactly right, so I'm going to make sure that they are and see if I can get it to do it. general shape. It's a little distorted, but that's not bad. Oops. Just trying to get it looking a little more round. And if you guys haven't seen it, uh, speaking of boots and shoes and stuff, Netflix has a really good documentary series on um, where they profile the guy who designed the Air Jordan and like all of the major Nike shoes. If you're a sneakerhead, I'm sure you've already seen it. But if not, this dude's been doing it forever. He's like amazing. It's getting a little wobbly here. I don't like that. A 
again, it's going to be printed so small, nobody's going to notice this. This is where the ADHD kind of kicks in. Kicks in. All right, how do you deal with that? All right, so now I can copy this, go back over here, grab this one and uh, paste in the new one and delete the old one. All right, and then uh, let's grab this tongue and kind of just make it fit. the matchmaker that's usually how I do the emblems on my characters chests and stuff like that I did it for the uh, the gotcha Mon June the Battle of the Planets piece it's kind of temperamental though so it takes some patience so small nobody's gonna notice this but I do want to print this thing at like a one sixth scale so this is more for me than anything else because I think it'll look kind of good when it's you know as big as maybe this guy So just the right angle I can tell that some of these things are not in the right position I gotta fix them
So what I'll probably do the next time is uh, I'll make this a VDM brush. That's a, that's a better way to go. I did that on the uh, the second time I did the Battle of the Planets piece and it was just super clean. But for now, it is what it is. I'm sweating this way harder than I need to. All right, I think that's fine. Let me do the other one. So let's just make this big so I can see it. And do a... Do a screen cap. All right, and then I can do this one. So let's clone that. Let's grab the tongue. Copy and paste. That's a smart way to do it. I'm just kind of in a time crunch here. Am I on the tongue? No, there it is. There you go. Let's get this thing spread out here. Thing. There you go. It's like, 
where's that background pulling up from? I think I might have shrank the other one just a little bit. I'm gonna do that here too. It's kind of huge. Huge. Oh, look at that. saving because I forgot to.
Oh man, I didn't realize I was being so quiet. I forgot I was even like in <laughs> in here. I'm in the boot zone. Edges of these, uh, the tongue is looking a little soft. Sharpen it up a little bit. You know what we should do? Let's see. Oops. And this is going to print so small again, you won't even see this. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. So what can I tell you? I just feel like there should be some detail back here. No, 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 no paint. Um, I'm. I would be surprised if they like. I mean, I'm not, I won't be surprised if I get them to them get this to them today or tomorrow. It'll get printed, but um, yeah, I don't. No, no paint. Now, when I do a one six scale, I'm totally gonna paint it. Do that to the other one.
face masking will save the day, I think. Yeah. Yeah. see the tongue coming through like that a little velcro strap right here this thing so I'm just gonna copy and paste that on the other side as well oh I almost forgot that little detail on the side of the boot let's copy this look a lot wider on this side too than they do on the other side.
this needs to Resolution, there you go. It's a little better. Funny how these things always look like super ugly until they don't, and then it looks like, hey, I meant for it to look like that. I meant for it to look like that the whole time. Meanwhile, you're wondering if it's going to look terrible or not. Is any stitching? The stitching. I'm, there's, it's not going to show up. What am I doing? It's not going to show up. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm putting some on the heel. It's killing me. I gotta have stitching on the heel. Brushes. Seems like you never have enough resolution for these brushes, so I'm going to use actual my actual st stitch brush here. I'm going to have to go back to before I had resolution in here. Let's see. Or the edge here. The only problem with using these is it needs to be like right on the surface or else there's no way it's going to print. So it takes a little bit of time. But I think 
that'll be fine right there. Just a little bit helps. Let's do it to the other one. attention to the size of this. Okay, I guess that's close enough. Let's see. Well, I could just, you know what? Let's do it to this side. It's big. Like 10. Oh, it's doing the lag thing again that's messing me up here. need the velcro and I'm done with the boot anyway there's nothing on the inside of this one right nope all right let's mirror and weld that to it so it actually looks like Velcro. 
See if I can get some texture. Let's see something. Their brush go ahead and tool. Split on mast. Seriously? Just want like a surface noise. I wish there's a way to frame this up. Center. Oh, yeah, you can. Damn it. Frame. That's what I want. Got like a little fruit fly in here. This is buzzing around. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can use Lazy Mouse with everything. I just use it with uh, Inflate, actually. All right, so I want this to be noise let's do it this way noise scale let's see what the plug looks like oh damn it I forgot when you turn on the noise plug for some reason for me my whole um, resolution changes sucks just totally messed up everything so I'm gonna have to restart after I get out of here but that's okay let's just say oh cancel see how my thing is tiny now and all my type is unreadable let me just save if I can save for real wait a minute cancel yeah save I'll do a quick save too and then I gotta restart. Uh what the lazy mouse and the stroke. Depressed, nah man. Gotta get out of that. Wait a minute, cancel quick save. start yeah, it's a bug that when I use when I use the surface uh, noise my resolution jumps up and everything gets tiny I don't know if anybody else is having that problem I gotta talk to Paul about it see if there's a kind of a fix that's because I'm on this 32, so. Uh, let's open up the last. You know what, I don't want to open a quick save because it might have saved the resolution. Let's just open the file. And it's doing this weird thing where, look at this. It's like a graphics card thing. I don't know, I'm using a 1080 Ti. But for some reason, the graphics card seems like it's not acting right. Having issues. Okay, where was I? I I'm just going to delete these. I don't even think I need them. I don't think they're going to look that good. But you know, no. OCD won't let me do it. I'm going to get that noise. So let's solo this. Delete it a 
cut, I mean, uh, do, divide it a couple more times. I don't know. I mean, maybe. It's been pretty stable for me. I was on, uh, I mean, I didn't notice any issues before. All right, let's, uh, Scale is crazy. Let's go fix that. And I can't move it. Come on, man. Seriously. color and uh, let's bump that scale up and turn up the strength big time I'm gonna be able to see it Uh, what's up, Danny? How you doing, brother? Point pusher, y'all. One and only. All right, let's see what this looks like. I'm really bugging because this thing is only going to be six inches tall. Nobody's seeing this. I'm trashing it. It's stupid. I'm just... I just wanted to see what it would look like. So let's get rid of this and this. Um, turn on everything. I don't want this one anymore. Delete this. And I don't want, I don't think I want this one either. Yeah, I don't want this one. Right, is that the flat one? Solo, where is it? Oh no, I do want that. How you been, Danny? I, man, I haven't talked to you in a long time, dude. All right, I don't want the Velcro. I'm gonna trash these. Delete and delete. All right. Let's get this thing back out of the way. All right, I think, I mean, for now, this is kind of done. I think I can send it to him. I do, I do, uh, I don't want to do anything. I don't think I want to do anything else. Let me see. Just do a couple renders. Let's see what it looks like. Oh man, no, you're you're good. You're good. I, I appreciate you stopping in though. But definitely we we haven't talked in way too long. We gotta we gotta catch up, man. All right.
The one thing about this that I'm going to have to definitely address later on at some point is how plain Jane the back looks. Like maybe, well, you know, maybe I can do something about that now. Like it just needs needs something. It's really boring back here. Or not. Again, I keep forgetting that this guy asked for this thing yesterday, so. What I can do is start um, applying this texture. So let's do that. Clone these pants and the shirt. Copy and paste that. I'm going to have to divide these up super high in order to keep any of this detail. So I talked to someone who said to store a morph target. Is it? I think I think I need to store a morph target and then make a layer, then apply the texture, and I can dial it up and down. So let's try that. Wait, do I have a morph target already? Ah, forgot I had this. I didn't mean to delete it. Hit to switch back. So delete. Luckily, I made a copy. So duplicate. All right. So I'm going to delete this morph target, then store it. All right <clears throat> now. Actually, before I store it, let me delete this one. I'm going to divide it. I'm going to divide it high. This thing is going to be massive, let's see. No, not that high. All right, six million. Let's store it. All right, then let's see if I can get any of this surface noise to stay. Probably not. Apply to mesh. No, it's kind of there. It's not bad. All right, so now, theoretically, if I go back to my uh, let oh, I didn't make a layer. All right, let's do this. Make a layer. super heavy now but I have a feeling that after I apply it it's not gonna be that bad yeah that's actually kind of exactly what I want it all right so it's not bad all right so what I can do now is I can uh, decimate this thing Take away some of this size because it's huge. Huge. See, yeah, that's not bad. All right. So let's decimate.
I just want to get a little bit of organization before I pass this thing off because I know it's gonna I wouldn't want to have to go in and fix all this crap if I was them Danny, working on anything cool lately, man? brother we both know that's not true once you decimate do you retop oh no 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 um, I'm gonna decimate and then it's done I'm gonna pass it off to the um, I'm gonna pass it off to the printer and uh, and then hopefully they can cut it up somehow. Probably should have filled the holes first. Hmm. Maybe. You wanna be like me, man? I'm trying to be like you, brother. What you talking about? All right. Um. So decimate current. And right now it's six million. Let's see what it takes it down to. Uh oh. Oh, it's reading the file. Mm, I don't think it's supposed to do that. Uh, these are going to be my first prints. Actually, no. I had a friend uh, print my Hulk for me. Um, so, but let me see which. Okay, there it is. Wow, that was scary. Did it move it? Let's see. Why did it do that? Wait a minute. There's that one. No, son. Why would Decimation Master move the model, Danny? Or anybody know why it would do that? Is home. I'm about to get yelled at. I might have to jump out of here real quick. I didn't do that thing I was supposed to do. Do you have layers? Oh, yes, I do have layers. Yes, I do. That's exactly what I did. You are correct. Working on something a while ago, try to decimate, zoomed in, it looked like a little res, I haven't tried it since. Yeah, yeah, layers, definitely. All right, so let's solo this. Let's get rid of the layer. Layers, bake, okay. And now, pre-process current. Well, 
us doing that, I can find out where I can get that aerator. Put a little on. Try to do two things at once. everything is closed what time is it 6 30 yeah man I messed up on this one they open tomorrow damn I said I was gonna do this last week and I totally forgot about it spaced out dinner too I'm, I'm really messing up big time so look I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna jump off for today I'll probably be on either later on or maybe tomorrow uh, but if you haven't yet please subscribe to my twitch it's uh, just Mike T2k and then you'll automatically get a notification when I'm uh, when I'm gonna be on again CC manager way to keep track of all those things yeah let me find that is that on the uh, is that on Pixos uh, download page? Well, yeah, I didn't even get it all the way out, and it popped right up. Let's see. Well, that's awesome. I'm gonna download that. Thank you, Christian. All right, so now let's try to uh, decimate it real quick and see what happens. It's pre-processed. So decimate current. Hey, thank you. Got a subscriber. Okay, stayed in the same place. Now it's 1.2 million. Okay. Um, yeah, I found it. I just Googled it and found it. That'll definitely work. So now let me copy this. Go back over here and paste. Right? Delete this one. And uh, I'm just going to fill it with the same color. All right, so now I have physical geo there, the little bumpy bumps for the print, which again on the one twelfth scale is never going to show up, but on a one sixth it might. I'm probably going to want to double down on the size and the depth of those two. Um, everything I've heard is that you're supposed to do like one and a half times what you normally would have in order for it to show up in a print. So uh, let's see. All right, Danny. Thanks, man. I'm gonna catch you next time. Um, uh, just holler at me on the on the DM, man, because we seriously haven't talked in way too long. So I want to catch up. All right, let's just do one more render, and I think I'm gonna be out. -y. check you guys later okay don't forget to subscribe Mike T2K thanks I'll see you